Hi guys, and welcome to Reality with T. So I want to talk about <clears throat> Stephanie and Ryan now, okay? So the last episode, they begin um, in a conversation where they talk about how Ryan's mother blocked Stephanie because Stephanie threatened to take her money back because she felt Ryan's mother didn't thank her in a way that she felt, you know, the most appreciated. So Ryan feels like, oh, you want my mother to bow down to you. You know what I mean? We thank you for everything you're doing. I understand that you're paying rent, utilities, food, <laughs> and everything else, but we're not going to like buy it, bow down to you. She said, thank you. And that's it. She ain't going to kiss your feet, right? So, you know, she says, so Stephanie says she hasn't sent money since her mother blocked her um, because she feels like she's spending a lot and then she needs, the mother, I guess, needs to thank her and be more appreciative of it. Fine right? So Ryan feels like she's trying to control them, right? And so he, feel, he, he feels like if she continues to try to control he and his family, he'll just break it off from her, right? So basically, I'll take everything that you have that you are going to give us, but you're not going to control me, right? So if you try to do that, then the relationship is over. Okay, whatever, Ryan. I mean, that's what this is all about, right? So, um, you know, she talks about, I think, was this the time when she talked about the psychic and he said he didn't believe in that? He thought that was the devil's work or what have you. And then we see them, I'm just think, thinking of all the stuff that was actually like we're talking about. They start having an argument in the middle of the night. Remember, up until now, Ryan has not been intimate with her and she is not sure why, right? So that's how the this, this, this show ended. So then this show, this week, they come on and we realize that they're having an argument because Stephanie about Ryan not wearing a condom. So she brought down condoms, right? And he's, he's leaving. Um, basically she brought down condoms and because she says she does not trust him. They have spent 10 months apart. You expect me to believe you haven't been with anybody else. I don't trust you. We'll have sex, but with the condom on whatever it was, she thought she heard him open the condom, but she realized when she asked him for, lubrication usually they use lubrication when they use condoms when she asked him for that he said um i don't have one a condom and then she freaked out so he called a cab he said he's leaving you know he said she's crazy how do you not trust me he brought up the fact like she doesn't trust me but she slept with my cousin which is a good point and he basically says, I don't even know why she's acting like that. She always brings down condoms. We never use them. So I don't even understand why she's freaking out right now. So as soon as he leaves, she decides to look all over the house. She's looking, she's, I know he took my stuff. I know he took my stuff. Oh, I know he stole my mother's ring. He knows how, how much that costs. I know how much that means to me. I know he stole my mother's ring. So she's rummaging through everything, looking for everything, looking for her mother's ring. And she actually finds it. So no, he didn't steal her mother's ring, right? And, you know, she's yelling at him. Why didn't you wear a condom? This whole thing. She starts screaming in the bed. Um... You know, she's saying it's over, this whole thing. Find, when she found the mother's ring, she actually called him and said, thank you for not stealing my mother's ring, which was really weird. I'm trying to figure that out. Um, why is there so many things wrong with this? Why are you having sex with somebody who you don't even trust with your personal items? It's just so much wrong with this situation, right? And so, you know, she's like screaming. It's almost like <laughs> I saw somebody say that TLC just left the, the, the video rolling and just let it roll because she's like rolling on the bed, screaming it's over. At one point she says, my life is a shit show. This is a, you know, this whole thing is a mess. And she looks like she's a 15 or 16 year old. That's how she acts. It makes you understand why she can't find anybody her age because nobody would deal with this. Uh, between her pigtails and her running after this young boy, um, she is way less mature than he is. Um, I don't know what happened. It's almost like an arrested development type of a thing. Like she is still in her like teenage years. Like I wouldn't even say her 20s because the way she's acting with the screaming and the crying and the her emotions are all over the place. You can probably see maybe she's on some type of prescription medication. There's something going on here. Um, so then she decides she needs a real friend right now. So she calls the cousin that she slept with before, Harris. When did... This girl, this lady's... I'm saying this girl. This lady's judgment is all over the place. Like, she doesn't have 
good decision making skills. Her judgment is very poor, um, as we can see anyway, because she's spending all her money on this guy and his family. Why would you think that Harris was your friend? All he did was have sex with you. He is cousin. He's blood to this man. And you want to call him. You're calling him your friend. So I'm just so confused by it. Why does she think that she can trust him? Um, I, I don't know. It, it kind of actually makes me sad for her. I feel like this is one of the things where it's going to be kind of like Nicole and Azen, where it's like you just really feel bad for them. Um, she calls Harris because she needs a real friend right now. She says that he's always been there for her. She asked her to come see him tomorrow because she just has to see his face for some reason. Okay. So then she calls a psychic. And I'm confused. For those of you guys who see psychics, I'm not judging, but I'm trying to figure out why do you go to them? Do they know the future? Do they are they supposed to be helping you with decision making skills? Are they supposed to be are they supposed to know something that we don't know about what she should be doing? Because nothing the psychic said to her um, was nothing was anything I couldn't I could have said that to her. I think she's trying to maybe instill a little bit of common sense in her, but I don't see anything psychic ish to her. Maybe she was off her psychic hours and on her um, friend hours. I don't know, but I was confused about what what she added to the situation and why she's not telling this lady she probably needs to like go see a therapist a psychiatrist and you know i don't know get into a therapy group and work on some of these very immature behaviors and they're actually immature to the point where they're unsafe because you're calling all these random dudes over to your resort you don't know them they're not your friends you're in a foreign country you don't they know a language that you don't know like i don't play those games y'all already know that i do not play those games so the psychic says she can tell that Harris cares about her, but he has other motives. Everybody in the situation has other motives. Okay, Ryan has, Ryan, his mother, his whole family is taking all her money. Harris, all of them have a motive. Somebody is trying to get to America, um, get their green card and keep it moving because they're not going to stay with her. None of these people like her. Okay, so... Um, the, the psychic says she needs to close the chapter with Ryan, but says that she can see Harris. This doesn't make any sense to me. You're telling her, you're encouraging her to keep a relationship of whatever sort going with the cousin of your fiance. It just isn't smart and it doesn't feel safe. You know, um, I'm just, I'm concerned about her. Let me know what you guys think. Cause she's a bit much. All right. Either way, we'll talk more. Um, I don't, I don't know what it is with her, but she definitely, I definitely see her seeing Ryan as her boy toy. I think she freaked out when he didn't do what she wanted, which was to be intimate with her, which she's been begging for since she got there. So she sees him as a sex toy. She is trying to control him. She does want to bring him, um, his little, little creature looking self to the United States so that he can just be there and be intimate with her, when, with her whenever she likes and do what she says because she is dangling the money over you and your family's head. So, you know, we'll see. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Bye-bye.